According to statistics, only a small percentage of you who watch our videos are actually subscribed. So if you haven't, and at the end of the video you enjoy what you see, do consider subscribing. It would help a lot with YouTube's algorithm in promoting more of our mental health content. Thanks for being here. Hey, Psych2Goers. Do you know someone who's really shy? Have you ever wondered if they're interested in you in a romantic way? Unlike people who are confident and outspoken, people who are shy often struggle to show that they're attracted to someone. They may find it even nerve wracking sometimes to approach the person they like. This can cause them to send mixed signals that leave you more confused than flattered. So if you've ever wondered whether that shy person from work or from your friend group is interested in you, here are six signs a shy person likes you. Number one, they have a hard time keeping eye contact. Do they look away every time you try to gaze at their eyes? According to Lisa Fritscher, the act of avoiding eye contact can mean that a person is uncomfortable in the situation they're in. Because shy people generally find it hard to be around people they aren't acquainted with or who they highly respect, they may find it difficult to keep eye contact with that person out of nervousness. So if you notice them diverting their eyes away and finding it almost impossible to gaze at you, it might be a giveaway that they're hiding something from you, such as a crush. Number two, their friends pull you in their conversations. Have you noticed their friends making teasing comments whenever you spend time together? Because shy people often don't have the courage to directly approach the one they like, they may try to get their friends to help them out. This may mean inviting you to their group hangouts or pulling you into their conversations and asking for your opinion. If you find yourself in a situation like this, it might just be a sign that they like you, but they're too shy to get close to you. Number three, they remember distant and vivid memories. Are they the type who likes to bring up old memories and talk about them in great detail? Whether it's the names of your old pet, your birthday, or a time shared between you two that seemed insignificant back then, a shy person who likes you may bring up old memories as a way to comfortably approach you. Retelling old stories like they've happened only yesterday may just be their way of trying to connect and become closer with you. Number four, they agree with you in everything. Do they always seem to agree with you and what you have to say? Oftentimes when you have a crush on someone, it's likely you'll find yourself agreeing with everything they say. It may be because you want them to like you or because you genuinely share the same values. Whatever the case, people who are shy are also likely to do this. However, because they tend to avoid situations that involve confrontation or conflict, they may stay quiet when they disagree with certain things that you say. Number five, they throw secret glances towards you. Are they always glancing at you when they think you're not looking? Whether it's because they're nervous about what to say or how to behave, people who are shy often have a hard time approaching their crushes. Because of this, they may end up staying a comfortable distance from you, but steal glances every so often in hopes to get your attention. If you notice someone doing this, they might just be trying to muster up the courage to get to know you. And number six, they're clumsy around you and only you. Do they seem to fumble and stutter when you're around? Your nervous system, which controls how you move your muscles, can sometimes function badly when you're stressed or in shock. So if you show up unexpectedly to see them, they may feel a sudden surge of anxiety and fumble in their actions. It may be a sign that they like you if you notice them start to bump into people or stumble on the floor the moment you show up. So did you find this video helpful? Did you relate to any of the signs? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.